What is up? Welcome back to. Oh my god! Woo! Standby! That was not planned. Alright, so after that, what is up? My name is Max Through Fudge. Welcome back to another video, or I'm back with you for another video. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. Alright, this is gonna be a video explaining what in the heck has been going on, what my building looks like, where we're going from here. Sit back, relax. Should only be a little video. I'm gonna keep it one take the whole nine. Eh, probably not one take because it took me like three or four to just do my intro. What is up and welcome back to another video. Mine, it's been a while, I forgot what to say. What is up and welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew. I'll figure this out. All right, so what in the heck is going on? So I've been putting this off for a little bit because I released four or five videos, maybe even six. Other than what has happened, what my bike looks like, why I took a six month break, four months, a lot of months break. The last time we talked about the bike was, I'm gonna have to check because I honestly have no idea. Custom fabricating a center stand. I was doing one video a week um, and I was doing one thing a week to my bike. I thought that was gonna be good enough and it ended up that it wasn't. I wasn't even close to where I wanted to be. So, I had two options. Not do the bike for bike week or try as absolute hard as I could to try to make the bike ready for bike week. Well, I went with option number two and I tried to make all possible effort to get the bike to bike week in some kind of working order. I stayed at the shop four days straight. I mean, when I was not at work, I was sleeping at the shop, eating at the shop, you know, the whole night. I was living at the shop pretty much trying to get this bike done. And this is not how you're gonna remember the bike but this is how it looks like right now. Um, a lot more things are black. A lot more things are red. The motor's back in. And so to touch on that a little bit, cause I'm gonna keep this video pretty short. How do I explain it? Um, I had to go down to bike week without a bike because I was having a lot of electrical issues. Um, my my single carburetor, it's too heavy. So, in order to open up the carburetor to introduce air and fuel, the line that I had, plus the internal throttle that I had, was not working out at all. Um, the carburetor was too heavy for the line to push and pull. Like I said, I had a ton of electrical issues. Long story short, it was a shit show. The bike didn't get done. And now I regret trying to throw it together like that because um take what i thought was putting me three steps forward actually put me three steps back so if i would have just left it went to bike week said you know what i didn't make it you know maybe next year i would have been in better shape but since bike week it's been five months almost you're probably thinking why isn't it done you know um bike week was in march and to answer that question, within the five months I've been working still, I had to finish up a class that just ended last month. I just tested out, passed, yay. Um, and I've been working for someone else, helping him out. Also, I ran out of space in the shop, so the last time I worked on my bike in my dad's shop was the night before I left for bike week. And then long story short, you know, things weren't working out and I had to get my own little area because um, he has his business to run. I can't, you know, be in there doing my own leisure, le leisure, le leisure stuff. This is what the shop looks like right now. I did put up pegboard in the meantime. I do have a little bench. That's my old bike parts, my new bike parts. This is the bike and how it sits. Some extra insulation, a ramp to get up into here, a whiteboard, miscellaneous parts. So like my wire harness, my you know horn, everything like that. I have paint, plasti dip. Yep, that's one of the things that's gonna set me back is this is not professionally painted or powder coated, which I wanted to do. I was trying to rush, I ended up rattle canning the whole thing, which actually wasn't as bad as I was thinking how bad I screwed up 
because now I can look at the bike and see the color palette versus when it was all metal and you know stock black I kind of could see it coming together but now I know exactly what I want to keep red what I want to keep black what I want to you know change so it ended up working out a little bit in my favor but you know we got some parts still up here some JB weld because you can't go wrong with JB weld um, gas tank kit you know gas tank sealer and all that gear oil dot four brake fluid you know I have everything to finish the bike now that everything has came to an ease on my personal life side I'm now gonna be able to work on the bike so the next video the me working on the bike and where we're gonna go what we're gonna start with and what we're gonna do so thank you guys for sticking along um, this is another thing I want to touch on it means a ton for every single one of you who subscribe you put a smile on my face every time I get the notification that someone subscribed I mean heck or even liking my videos you know the the people that come back every time I post a video you guys mean the world to me I will see you guys when I see you guys God willing